Hello and welcome everybody to a tutorial video on how to make your own mods in Minecraft with no coding knowledge. Right, so let's get started. First, you want to go to the link I put in the description, it will take you to this page. Then, for whatever um, version of Minecraft you want to make a mod for, I'm going to download here. There are older versions somewhere, somewhere, down here. But uh, these are the latest versions up here, so once you download them, a really quick media fire and you can follow this if you want basically you, you click that and uh, it's gonna bring up this but it's gonna start downloading a load of files it'll take like five to ten minutes it won't take that long but you're gonna have to wait for that to finish then what when that finishes you can have this screen so when you get this screen you can you know you can fill around with the settings you can you know do this stuff it doesn't really matter so you can you can click new mod and here we go this is as simple as it is I'm gonna have trouble typing because the way my microphone set up is in the way of my keyboard so you know the name of the mod so what do you want the mod to be called let's say we're gonna make a mod where it turns it turns dirt it turns the dirt, the grass on the dirt block purple or something so I'm just gonna call it purple dirt not purple D, purple dirt. So it's gonna be a block. I don't know. I don't know what that does. I've never clicked that. Let's see what it does. Okay. So you can you can suggest to the program what you want you're trying to make, and it will help you make it. That's pretty cool. Press OK. It's, this is the texture. So you can uh, you can uh, you know put your textures in here. So go to resources. Uh, click you know whatever one you want to import. Import. Create. You can create them in the program, so that's pretty cool. You don't always have to, you know, spare to import it in, but you can if you want create it in the program. So here you see, we will scroll down until we see dirt, dirt grass. Right, okay guys, so here we go. I've sort of got our block uh, um, set up. Fiddle around with the settings to get a good feel for it. Um, so it's kind of confusing because the uh, the layers that go under are at the top and the layers that, so just say I put this to, you know, that it'll appear under the thing, but that, that doesn't matter, don't worry about that. Anyway, so we go use, what kind of texture is this? This is a block. Enter the name of texture. I'm just going to put purple grass. So okay, so don't 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 need to do that again. Cancel. Go away. Okay, then we go. If we go back to uh, go exit, and we can put our new texture on our block. Let me just qu let me quickly make a top texture for this. Right, so the uh, top dirt is, you know, a little bit different to these other dirts, but that, that's okay, it's fine. Block render type, normal's fine. Custom texture of the model, that's cool. This, I don't think this matters, actually. So, you know, we go next. Name in GUI. I'm gonna put purple dirt. Hardness, this is just, you know, how hard, how, like, what pickaxe you need to break, how hard it is to break. Two is, you know, pretty low go higher it get up to it goes up to like bedrock or obsidian resistance is you know you, you, you can just press these and the, it'll tell you okay so you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's all cool tells you the resistance of our block so you can match the type so i'm going to give this the same resistance as gravel so i just put three there hardness here we go this this helps you so you know you don't need me to tell you is it isn't collidable no can provide power, no, that means redstone, tool able to destroy it, pickaxe, shovel, and change it to shovel, doesn't drop itself, it does, block that drops, oh wait, no, that's fine, because it doesn't drop itself, if you check, if you check that, 
then you'll need to make a block that it does drop, and it drops one. Sound, I want it to sound like grass. Luminance is like how much it lights up, is it unbreakable? Nope. Harvest level to break, it's fine. Next. Do you want any particles around the block? You know, it's, it's cool. No, we, we don't want that, it's fine. You can add a vent, so when you like mine the block, one block destroyed by a player, you can change game mode, uh, redstone power, execu execute command, so that's pretty cool, that's good stuff. Okay, so here, crafting recipes, you can't usually make dirt, so crafting recipes are all cool. Now finish, we made a new mod, so now it's going to do all this stuff, it's fine, it's, it's cool stuff, don't worry. Right, so, we got our new purple block thing, this will start, star client, it's going to start the game. We're gonna test our new mod that we just made. All right, guys, here we are in our test environment. So test environment means it's not gonna reflect the same performance as your normal Minecraft. This isn't meant to be played as a normal Minecraft game. This is just a test environment to test your mods. So you're not gonna have your skin or any of that. It's, you don't even need to sign into your account. It's just a test environment for your game. So we, sh if we go in here, we should find our block that we made here we go we kind of messed up on the textures but I'm no pro you can see but you can see that we did in fact make our new block which is pretty cool so I'll meet you back at the MC creator menu and tell you what else you can make with this so if we take a look at the different ones you can make with this MC creator program it's you can make blocks items tools food Armor, plants, mobs, biomes, dimensions, guns, achievements, TX block, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, here you go, that's what it is. A recipe, fuel, command, creative tab, fluid, structure gen, basic GUI, and keybind. So you know, you can make a GUI, which is pretty cool. You can make a gun, which is pretty cool as well. Let's go, let's go try and make a gun. Okay, I'm just gonna call it gun. Okay. Gun texture. I'm just gonna select one that's a. Uh, just gonna select one that this um, program already has. Right, so I quickly put together a gun texture. Here we have our AK-47. Obviously, you can import your own textures. Which is amazing, so add event, I can add events. There is there is customized like if you do know coding, you can code some stuff in, but it you don't need it at all. But uh, you know, I don't really want to do this. I don't need to do it. You can when bullet hits player, hurt player, when bullet hit this block you can destroy it. Let's see if we can do that. Remove block. Uh add event. I I guess that'll work. When gun used, sh I'm gonna just shoot arrow. You can make your own textures, blocks, and stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna add a fin. Next, name a GUI. Let's put AK 47. Item for gun ammo, like arrow for and bow. I'm just gonna set it to an arrow. Shoot constantly. Yes. Gun usage count, look at that, 100. Bullet power, one is like both. That's how many uses it has, so I'm just gonna keep that to 100. But one, bullet damage, five, bullet not back. Has bullet particles? Nah, keep it, keep it cool. Next. We, we could have made a, a crafting thing, but it's cool. <laughs> Alright guys, you can see we are back in the test environment, we have compiled and created our gun. You see it constantly shoots pretty fast, but you can edit that in the, uh, you know, in the MC Creator program. That was the tutorial, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you in any way, leave a like, you know, do that stuff. Make your own mods, send me comment on what mods you made, if, if you know, if you made a pretty amazing mod, I'll check it out. I would, I, 
if you make a really good mod, I'll even make a mod showcase of it. Just send it to me in the, you know, link in the comments or something. That'd be pretty cool. See you in the next whatever I do.